ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy, King Churro. I mean, not your boy, your most hated kaiju power scaler, King Churro's here. Okay. And today, we're gonna do our versus battle. This versus battle was suggested by Average. And what versus battle is it, you may ask? Oh wait, you already average. know, cause I did. Cause I did the intro already. It is. It is Kiryu versus Mafra, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it is. The Tokyo SOS versions, to be exact. So no, no Heisei Mafra, no GMK Mafra, no, 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 no none of those silly gooseys. Nope. Not allowed. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, I'm here with the Goonies. Yeah. Nope. Reluctantly. Uh, one of them being Gamera, you know, the best Goonie, right? Right, Gamera. Yeah, so as always yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we go over their stats, their abilities, their uh, feats to see who would come out on top if they were to go in a versus battle. So we'll start off with AP, attacks, offensive stuff. Uh, so for Kiryu and Moffer, this is an easier one to compare because they both fought the same exact Godzilla. So that helps uh, prove, uh, you know, this helps see where each monster lies in terms of uh, strength and attack. Uh, for reference, we are just gonna stick to 2003 Kiryu, so absolute zero is not gonna be a, 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 a factor here, but the triple Mazer Cannon will. So uh, anyways, we could compare their battles. In Mothra's battle with Godzilla, she was able to carry him around, drag him around, make him stumble and fall. Her pollen poison was able to uh, stagger and stun Godzilla temporarily. Um, what else? Um, and Mothra was also able to knock Godzilla over, albeit he wasn't expecting her to come around, but she did manage to do that. So she does have some comparable physical feet strengths compared to uh, Godzilla himself, and that's nice of her. As for Mothra, I mean, <laughs> Mothra, as for Kiryu, he also fought uh, Godzilla himself. He was also physically able to overpower him, as he did with his tail. He also did a whole, like, little back a reverse body slam with Godzilla. He was able to attack him with his missiles, his rail guns, his, uh, his, uh, what's it called? The, the, the drill hand? I forgot its name. The, the spiral, the spiral claw. There we go. With the spiral claw. He was also, he was able to drill into Godzilla's skin and armor, and damage him very greatly. Godzilla was roaring in like serious pain. He was like, ah! he was like that. And um, um, his triple Mazer can was also able to knock him down afterwards. So he has some nice stuff as well. Uh, so in terms of ape, uh, uh, for who I'm gonna give the points to in terms of uh, just straight, straight on attack and offensive stuff, by far I'm gonna definitely give this one to Kiryu. He was able to drill into Godzilla's skin, while Mothra doesn't have a feat to that level. She does have some nice stuff like knocking him over and stunning him, but nowhere near to what Kiryu has done. Kiryu has done the exact same things plus more. Now on the defense. Mothra was able to tank two atomic breaths. The third one was able to kill her, but the first two she was able to withstand. You could also argue she tanked the third one if you count the one with, that collided with her pollen, which she also tanked, but it did damage her wings. So she wasn't able to uh, fight as um, well as she did before, because beforehand she was doing, she was moving really fast with Godzilla. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, she also was able to survive uh, him biting the leg off of her, so she uh, endured that. Um, what else did Godzilla do to her? Yeah, that's most of the stuff. He really didn't tag her or do do much to her except for his atomic breath and the and the leg bite. That's really where it comes down to. Kiryu, also, I, from what I remember, he takes about two atomic breaths as well with, before getting KO'd. The second one is what really got him, but to be fair, Godzilla kind of tricked him into it. So it's not the exact same. But I guess you can maybe argue Mothra had better defense, but I wouldn't say that's all that consistent. Godzilla, Kiryu in a previous film was shown to tank a lot of Godzilla's atomic breaths before. So it's not like he can't handle it. He's also able to take uh, more of his Godzilla's physical attacks, such as charging and um, 
What's it called? Tail, t tail smacks and throws. He took more attacks than Mothra has, and Mothra, whenever she got hit by Godzilla's attacks, she reacted more dramatically, although when they both got hit by the Atomic Breath, it was pretty bad for the both of them. Neither one of them tanked it like it was nothing. So I don't think any one of them can get credit for that. Oh, uh, yeah, but for defense, I'm gonna just give it to Kiryu for the most part. I think he does a, a better job at it. Now, on the speed. Uh, Gamera Milk, you guys want to talk about speed for Kiryu and uh, Mafra? For Tokyo SOS? Uh... It's been a hot second. Finally. Well, in terms of combat speed, it's shown that Kiryu... Like in hand to hand at least is faster than Godzilla usually. Yeah, yeah. Like that's... he's he, he's shown to basically overwhelm Godzilla like consistently. Oh yeah. Like basically get the upper hand. Yeah, that's that's true. Mafra in her first encounter with Godzilla did a really nice job when it comes to speed. She could straight up speed blitz him, and you can literally see Godzilla looking around like a dummy, confused to where she went. This feat Kiryu doesn't even have. Even in uh, 2002, when he was at his like best, he doesn't even have that. Um, Mafra was also able to catch Godzilla off guard multiple times, but Kiryu also has. So like, they're both extremely, extremely fast. When her wings weren't damaged, she Godzilla pretty much only time he landed a, a, a tagged her was when uh, she was just straight up in his face, like literally putting her claws into his mouth, basically. So like, at that point, Godzilla had to tag her at some point. So, honestly, I think Mafra's weirdly enough, the faster one. She also has some weird stuff where she was able to like, go from Infant Island to Tokyo in like 20 seconds which give her like massively hypersonic speed travel but I don't know that's probably an outlier <laughs> not all that consistent but yeah Mothra did like straight up speed blitz Godzilla and Godzilla was confused to where she went Kiryu has done other things like dodge his atomic breath but Mothra can also do that even when her wings are injured showing that her uh, flight speed shouldn't be at peak uh, or at peak so I'm gonna give the point to Mothra here, but honestly, if you want to say Kiryu's faster, you're not really wrong. They're they're both pretty good. Yeah, I'd also say Mothra's faster. Kiryu's definitely not slow, but Mothra is just really insanely fast. Yeah, especially in this film. Uh, mm. On to Haxus and the extra abilities. So Mothra has her pollen, which is poisonous. It was able to stun and keep Godzilla in uh, one specific location. Like, Godzilla literally couldn't do anything. He had to resort to the atomic breath. And if Mothra was more durable to endure that explosion, well, she did endure it, don't get me wrong, she survived. But like, if she was strong enough to like, you know, without her wings getting damaged or it knocking her back, Godzilla would have pretty much lost the fight right then and there. So the pollen was really effective towards Godzilla. Her other abilities doesn't really have much. I mean, her larva forms have the webs, but she doesn't really seem to use them in adult form like a 2019 version would. So I wouldn't say it's consistent to argue that she would, especially in film that she didn't. Um, Kiryu, on the other hand, he, let's be honest, lads, do I, I don't even need to say anything. Kiryu obviously has way more abilities and stuff. He has the triple maser cannons, the missiles, the rail guns, the uh, spiral claw. And then he has yes. his, uh, his SSM things like on his shoulders. Yeah, because he has like the, the normal missiles, then he has the huge big missiles like he said on his shoulders yeah yeah like he has way more weaponry than Mafra does here and yeah let's just get on to the battle so going over everything so it's 3-1 right now Kiryu's in the upper hand and it's for a reason so this is an inverse battle one of the easiest to go over Kiryu here is able to spiral claw into Godzilla's body and Godzilla has greater durability than both Mothra and Kiryu. This is proven by Godzilla being able to withstand the explosion uh, he caused with Mothra's pollen. He tanked it just fine while Mothra's wings were injured and Godzilla was just fine. That automatically proves he has greater durability than Kiryu, I mean Mothra. Then with Kiryu, uh, when it came to the absolute zero, 
Cannon, he, uh, well, actually, that's a bit weird. Let, that's ir irrelevant. We're talking about Tokyo SOS here. Um, when it came to Tokyo SOS, we saw, as with the Muffer explosion, he's able to withstand his own atomic breath explosions, while Kiryu, on the other hand, was literally falling on his back, having a hard time getting up, and then the second time he got hit by it, he, he took out Kiryu's eyes, and then Kiryu was completely out, uh, out of the battle arena until Chujo had to come in and revive Kiryu. So Godzilla is shown to have better durability than both, but Kiryu was able to make drill into Godzilla's skin, showing that he can damage the most toughest monster within that verse to Kiryu Saga. Mothra having worse durability than Godzilla, this would automatically mean Kiryu, if he were to do his attacks on Mothra, which can hurt Godzilla, who has greater durability than hers, would easily hurt hers. Mothra's best bet is dodging. But honestly, Kiryu has some, uh, his Mason Cannons are light speed, apparently. Or if not, at least massively hypersonic. And Mothra's scaling is off the atomic breath, which uh, isn't as fast as Kiryu's Mazer Cannons. But you could argue she could dodge him. I wouldn't, you know, be too against it. But at some point, Kiryu is going to tag her. They're around the same speed as Godzilla is able to fight with Kiryu. And, you know, if Godzilla can fight with Mothra and Kiryu, and, you know, both of them are faster than Godzilla, they can definitely fight with each other. So Kiryu already having all the weapons that he has, he can outrange Mothra. Then he's a better physical combatant than Mothra. As he's I feel able like to... his, his lock-on missiles will also pretty much... Like, make sure, like, she can't really dodge. Yeah. Because she can't, like, use her, like, agility. It's just pure speed at that point. Right. And they're just gonna keep following her, and, yeah. I agree. And then, what, what, what I was gonna say something else. Um, Mothra's, Mothra's pollen, which is her best weapon, her, uh, her scales, which she used on Godzilla, which was really effective. The only thing is here, I don't think this hacks ability will work on Kiryu because he's a machine, not a living organism. So how do you poison a robot? So I don't even think her her best weapon will even be effective for um for Kiryu. So honestly, I she pretty much kind of gets no dips here. Like I think the main reason she did really good with Godzilla is because of her great speed and because of her hacks ability, which affects living organisms such as Godzilla himself, which. Kiryu, for one, is faster than Godzilla. This is just verbatim shown. And then we have other things like Kiryu being a machine, although he does have technically uh, the bones built in him, but I don't think bones would get poisoned. So then no. he, he just negates her strongest weapon. So there's not really much Mothra can do. Obviously, she can knock Kiryu over because she's able to knock Godzilla over. But yeah, it's pretty much her knocking Kiryu over while Kiryu's blasting her with so many weapons. And if he's able to land the Spiral Claw, it's wraps. And then the triple Mazer Cannon was also able to finish off Godzilla as well. Or severely damage him and make him shiver. And make him cry out in pain. And we already established Mothra has worse durability than Godzilla. So if it could do that to Godzilla, it's definitely going to do more to Mothra. So overall, in my conclusion, I say Kiryu kind of wins at low diff but since Godzilla had some difficulty some mid difficulty with Mothra I will say he would have since Kiryu's pretty comparable to Godzilla he would have mid difficulty with Mothra but honestly I think it would perform much better than Godzilla would yeah, so yeah I give this to power. Kiryu like uh -huh. literally probably 9 to 10 times out of 10 I don't see Mothra having any win conditions here uh, what about you guys I agree with you honestly completely like Mothra just can't really Compete with Kiryu because like the only time she had an upper hand was because of the pollen and the pollen would yeah. not affect Kiryu due to not being a living creature I honestly agree I'll, I'll give you a mix of right there Kiryu has many more More abilities and hacks than Mothra has compared to her other forms, but in this movie She just doesn't take the win yeah, maybe the other Mothras could clap up Kiryu, but as for this maybe one, yeah. yeah, as for this one, I think it's all safe to say that Kiryu takes the dub here. All right, that is our that is our conclusions. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you hate me? Because I am the most hated Kaiju power scaler. Let me know yeah, down in the you. comments. 
Let me know down in the